Lally doing Drake apparently isn't done taking shots at Joe Budden just yet. The feud began when Drake took issue with Budden's critique of the Canadian superstar's new album for all uh, the dogs, right? For all my dogs. Mm -hmm. Though Budden jumped back into the fray by posting a photo of himself in a pool looking at his phone. I didn't see that. Drizzy mm -hmm. fired back with a long something accusing Budden who announced that he was leaving music in 2018 in order to focus on broadcasting of having failed at music, quote unquote. Joe Budden podcast co-host Parks Valley also caught a, caught a shot. Drake went on Instagram to share a screenshot of Parks writing, imagine listening to Mark Zuckerberg tell the next generation about good verses and turn beats. I did see that. Parks responded by posting the credits of Drake's 2018 DJ premiere produced track, Sandra's Rose, which Parks engineers that same day, Button's manager Ian Swartzman commented on the situation. So I have been keeping up with this Joe Button versus Drake uh, beef for like the past decade. And uh, with each album, I feel like it gets worse and worse. Uh, so Drake commented under, I believe, a DJ Academics post about uh, Joe Button's response to the album. He said, Ed Joe Button, you have failed at music. You left it behind to do what you are doing in this clip because this is what actually pays your bills. For any artist watching this, just remember you are watching a failure. Give their opinion on his idea of a recipe for success. A quitter, give their opinion on how to achieve longevity. You switch careers because the things that pop into your brain had you broke. Living check to check. And mm. the raps you write had 450 men showing up to your shows in dusty NYC jeans to screw up their face to move music part 29 and pretend you are the GOAT. Please, to any artist that's doing what they feel is right, don't let these opinions affect your mindset after the fact. This guy is the poster child of frustration and surrendering. You you retired and we never hung up your jersey. We don't even remember your number. We know you for doing this. You withdrew from rap not because you accomplished all you need to do. It's because it wasn't working for you. I never want anybody in the generations to think Jeez. that the whole everybody's entitled to their own opinion is a real thing. This is a man projecting his own self-hate and the fact I did and continue to do everything he wants to do for himself. If you need to put it in simpler terms... I own a 767. I'm assuming that's a jet. Mm -hmm. He owns a modest house in the 973 and flies first class on special occasions. So that, my friend, is what you call a read. Hey, you know you lost when you be talking about like, like your items and how much money you have more than uh -huh. niggas? You lost at that point. Well, he he read them, but I still stand with Joe Biden. He did Blake, read But he did read the nigga. Read like, this He's is like point. a... A real Housewives of Atlanta basketball wise type of sassy. This some light skin. You feel me? Definitely that you know. But he did have some uh, some some catchphrases and some some stingers in there. I give Drake the that. second disc was it's crazy clever. though. It's clever. But who took the screenshot eight seconds after he posted it? Oh God! Hey, <laughs> listen, probably, like, probably, probably academics because uh, he got notifications on for for niggas fast. Drake, yeah, yeah. That nah, fast. it had to be like like. Uh, did Drake screenshot it? No, like. <laughs> It had to be like coordinated, right? Like, yo, act. I'm finna comment this. You feel me? Eight you know? seconds. You get a call post. that somebody's about to comment on your post. That's he crazy. right though. How Drake be moving? Drake does because eight seconds calculated. is crazy. Drake does everything calculated. Eight Nothing seconds Drake like, yeah. does just seems random. You know? You don't think it's just a crazy ass fan that could have caught this? In nah, the first bro. Eight seconds, like Thank a real mentally off so. person. That if just, it's I th it's possible. Man, it's, We're not going to act like it ain't possible. Something's wrong with you if you screenshot some shit eight seconds after If it's no, eight seconds, seconds like you refreshing. I'm talking about first. As soon as first. I post it, yeah. They, they comment first uh -huh. because they, they were the first one to comment on that motherfucker eight seconds What's after the, I like posted it. That's what the fuck they do. Like, you oh, feel me? Stupid. That's the thing. So I, I'm i not going to act like motherfuckers couldn't have right. screenshot it that fast, you know? So Wait, Drake yeah. kept going. Uh, he's really in his he feelings, feelings about this. No he pun his feelings. intended. Um, he said, you thought you was Kobe. He said that on his Instagram story? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he posted on his Instagram story, you thought you was Kobe. Uh, keep chasing that farewell tour. They don't love you like that. Damn. You thought you was Kobe with my uh, Inglewood High School alumna. Uh, Paul, Shout out Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce, yep. Went to school with my mom. And then this is him getting at Parks, which is was a straight shot because... Parks don't really bother nobody. Nah, nah. Park, listen, he give his, but he don't be with the Parks. Been popping his shit. No, you feel Parks, me? Like, as a Parks lady. will give a critique without the insults. I, I yeah, watch yeah, the show. He yeah, don't yeah, be yeah. trying to insult. He don't call people names and stuff. Yeah, he but, stay in his lane. Yes, right. But like when you hey, but like once you pop your shit and like present yourself as a person of authority and in a space, you 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 now open yourself up for the criticism. Right, but authority, like who's saying what? Which one, which cast member on that podcast 
said that they're the authority of hip hop. They're just yeah. saying how they feel about the new Drake album. Just like we about to sit here and talk about it because I want to ask y'all your opinion. I want to ask Josh. I want to ask you, Flacco Suspect. How sure. did y'all feel about the, the sure. album, the 23 track album? How did you feel yeah. about it? I sure it was too fucking long. Well, you speak like from a position of, yo, this is how you do this to to like get to this height. Uh-huh. It's like, hold up now, nigga. Like, you could tell me, uh-huh. yo, yo, like, I ain't like it cool. Okay. But when you want to speak on life, like, 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 right here, here, right, like, like that's like, like that's like a motherfucker with let's say like ten subs, right? Telling yo, yo, bro, like, if no jumper wanted to get to ten million subs, uh-huh. they gotta do this and switch up the formula and start interviewing real rap. Like, hold uh-huh. up now, nigga, like you got ten subs, you feel me, right? Like, how can you now tell no jumper they gotta do this to get to, to get the ten million yeah. subs, right? Okay. So when you hear hear Parks and Joe Budden talking about yo. Switch up the formula. Start doing this, this, and this. Uh, like, hold up, now, nigga. Feel me? Like you, yeah, you can critique, yeah. but telling me what the fuck I need to do when you are when you're dirt, that's not working. Nigga. Well, don't not dirt though. Don't dirt. <laughs> nah, I mean, don't that not dirt, bro. Dirt. Nah, you're that like that shit. He's a dirt. Shout out Joe Dirt. You're the worst yeah, member in slaughterhouse, music. nigga. You're the worst slaughterhouse yeah. member, nigga. He, you're he dirt. He was a lyricist, but you're music dirt. I don't like. Uh, Joe Budden, as far Wait, as his records. music wasn't good, but just because you can rap. Good. Yeah, just because you have good bars don't mean you make good music. Yeah, you can put some words together, but them songs are dirt, nigga. Right, right. But back to Drake's album. I need like a rating. Like I know it's only been one weekend, but it's like thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm not actually grade or nothing. Oh, it was like what's up, what's up. Um, before Flacco, nine gave, out of ten, eight out of ten. I was just gonna say before Flacco uh, gives eight. his glazing yeah. answers. Uh, he Dude. said nine out of ten, Josh. Yeah, yeah this niggas, Josh, what you think? Glazing. Thumbs up, thumbs down. <laughs> I'm like right in the middle, leaning towards thumbs up. I'm gonna give it like a six. Okay, Dude, Tell me a bad so song. what I said, like my huh? opinion, definitely changed from mm-hmm. Friday. The more I listened to it over the weekend, yeah. The more listens, there are other songs on there that were better, but for the majority of those, like. I'm flock. I'm still against you. This is not like so another. So, tell me classic. a bad song. That's, Bro, the, that's nigga, the, album. the best part about that album. Give you a, I didn't like the, the intro. majority I didn't like of the them. Virginia Beach intro. I didn't feel that. Um, I love the Tizo touchdown record. The Amen. The Twenty One Savage record is the bad song. If you want to know a bad song, the Twenty One Savage record is called "Calling for You" is a bad song. Look, what I didn't like that every song changed in the middle of it. The Yeet song, I didn't, I didn't care for. I liked it. Oh, you like the Yeet song? I like, I like the Yeet like, song. The best thing the about the album was Yeet and J. Cole, in my opinion. Yes, J- I thought J. Cole was the best part. But Yeet ain't float, man. I wasn't feeling the uh, his shit like that. I wasn't feeling the... Um, I liked it. Yeet Ooh. Hook was yeah. fire. Yeet Hook was fire. The verse was decent. The, the verse could have did better. I didn't like the high-pitched tone he went with mm. in the verse. But the hook, fire. But the high... That's what threw me off, the yeah, high-pitched. It was the high-pitched tone. He should have did that. He went Young Thug instead of Yeet. Yeah, so the album, yeah. I definitely feel like it's mid as well. It's not a bad album, but it's not a great album. I feel like Drake hasn't put out a great album. What's meant to you? Like 5 out of 10, 6 out of 10? It was like a 6 five, out of 10 six, like somebody 5 is a bad album. I'll give it a 6. No, 5 is a Somebody in their mid-20s, they 25 <laughs> or they 26. You know what I'm saying? So if I say an album is mid, that means it's around 5 or 6. It sounds like what he thinks young niggas want, want to hear. Okay. Like, it sounded like he, he youth driven. Yeah, like you thought that which that is Joe Budden's critique in your twenty six year old bag, yeah. and it just wasn't it wasn't really hitting. The nigga don't be wanting that shit from Drake, like you know. Joe Budden's critique was that he didn't grow with his fans musically. So the fans of Take Care, the fans of Nothing Was the Same, the fans of So Far Gone, these right. are like classic or semi classic projects. Yeah, Take Care is fucking amazing. The fans of Views, we're a little older now. So it's like, yeah, we we got you, you appealing to the younger market, but you got to give us some mature, we were, we were fine, like some mature 12, fine though. wine music. I was not twelve. We were the when so, I was not twelve. I was so far. I was in high school. Yeah, I was, I was in, in high, high school. school. Take care. When Take Care came yes. out, I, I was walking myself to high school. I was in high school when Take Care dropped. Yeah. Well, fourteen maybe, right? Like we were like, like yeah, right? Fifteen, fourteen. Yeah, 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 right, yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. right? And we're 25, 26, 27 now. Eleven. So grow up. Yeah, what? yeah. So that was how long ago? That that was twelve years ago, right? Yes. Yeah, feel me. I yeah. just look. Yeah, I, I want to hear like that type grade, of music. I want to hear that kind of music from niggas that age. I don't want to hear that from my nigga that's thirty four and, and I've been hearing this nigga rap saying. for for twelve years. Like you know what I'm saying? It sounds like a uh uh, it, is it a digress? Is that mm. the word? It sounds like a, a digress. digression. Digress? Yeah. Like, no, no, not I digress. A it digression. Sound, yeah. Sound like the a digression. Of progression. Yeah. Instead of instead of progressing, mm. it was more of a digression to me. Okay. 